see me? You got me? All of me? Is my head cut off? See my eyes? See my mouth? See my face? Can you see the sign? Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. Take one. So, here I am, Fort Langley Air. I'm about to start a 50 hour bush pilot program. Technically, it's going to be 43 hours because I already have a, a flow rating. I already have the seven hours I need the other. 43 hours so that uh, I can maybe start teaching or that I guess that I'm insurable on floats. So, Fort Langley Air, boom, here we are, beauty day. It is, what day is today? March the 27th. So, ready to go. I'm gonna be starting with a guy named Hugh today and uh, he's gonna teach me how things work around here. We're gonna get out in the water, probably do a few circuits. He's got a few acronyms for me, a few acronyms, a few acronyms for me today, that's for sure. Let's uh, get at it. Ready? Here we go. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Okay, here we go. We're going down to the water. Just walked out of the hangar here. There it is. Get in this thing. Look at this truck. Holy moly. Look at it. It's really weird getting used to this. Here we go. What is this? It's a Fraser River. Fraser River. Right. What do you call this kind of truck? Beaching gear. Right. You're an excellent driver, Hugh. Cool. All right. Look at that. It's the only one out there. <laughs> Bell Baker in the background. I was there on Friday. What are you doing there? Snowboard. Okay, here we go. So it looks like Harbor Air flies out here, but we knew that. Wow. I forgot my sunglasses today too, so this is going to be fun. All right. All right. So you want to be able to start it off as soon as you hop in. Roger. Obstacles that need to be avoided. So okay, so. Let's go make sure Rich. Got I got you. So you want to get the keys in the ignition here, right? Keys in the ignition. Has it been started yet today? Yeah, so one prime should do it. Uh, it in the middle there, right under the carb heat, that one. That's what I thought it was. One foot on the float, one foot on the dock, push the nose away, chuck the rope wherever you need it, hop in, start it up. Deal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is all. Yeah, on. Started. The plane will come off the water at about 60 miles an hour. You gotta be real careful that you're watching for logs or sticks or any kind of wood in the water during the takeoff slide. We took off west off the water at Pitt Meadows and then turned north up the Pitt River. Out to the west is Vancouver and just to the west off the left wing is the Port Moody area or Simon Fraser University area. We flew up the Pitt River at 500 feet and that's 500 feet AGL because we're at sea level and we flew into Pitt Lake. When departing Pitt Meadows, the flow planes usually follow the water. And 
you're not supposed to go above 500 feet unless directed by an air traffic controller. There's also lots of bridges and power lines to look out for when you're flying at low levels like this. We followed the Pitt River all the way up to Pitt Lake and we actually followed the river, which was super fun. So we're low level and we're carving around the corners. Off to the right, you should be able to see the Swanee Set Golf Course. And I believe that's where Happy Gilmore was going. Once we got to Pitt Lake, we did some circuits around Goose Island. Circuits are typically done at 500 feet above the water. When you're landing a float plane, it's very much like a soft field landing in a wheel plane. You fly the airplane towards the water at your approach speed, which is 80 miles an hour in this plane. And then once you reach about tree height, you start to flare and you use just enough power to keep the airplane descending at about 100 feet per minute. And at 100 feet per minute, you should be able to set the plane down nice and gently on top of the water. Once the plane hits the water, the power goes to idle and the stick goes all the way back. When we were back at the hangar, Hugh gave me an acronym to remember. The acronym was SCAMPFERS. S C A M P F R S. And this stands for switches, oh, I never checked that, that carb heat, area, to make sure the area we're taking off is clear right. or landing, M for mixture, yep. props, full fine, because this is a constant speed aircraft, F for flaps and cow flaps, R for water rudders, they need to be up uh, or down for takeoff, and S for stick back. This is what I'm going through right now with you, and I'm having a real hard time remembering. Oh, F is flaps, flaps 20. Yep. During this takeoff, Hugh was also trying to teach me something called a flap pop, I think. This is where, when the airplane reaches about 40 miles an hour, you okay. increase the flaps so from 20 switches. degrees to 30 degrees in the hopes that the airplane will pop off the water. And you can do this sometimes when the water's rough, he tells me. Once you start climbing out and the airplane reaches about 60 miles an hour, you can reduce the flaps to 20 degrees again and continue your climb. Trim. Fuel's on both. Yeah, cool. Water up, sticks back. Okay, here we go. When the plane leaves the water, you can feel the huge reduction in friction. one more circuit, but then decided we should maybe go try another thing, because it was starting to get pretty low. For those of you who don't know, the circuit is the pattern that you fly when you're landing an airplane. You basically just go around in a circle. There's the climb out portion of the circuit, the crosswind portion of the circuit, the downwind portion of the circuit, the base leg of the circuit, and then the final landing portion of the circuit. And, and a tree here. 
we always want to land the airplane into the wind whenever possible. We took off out of Pit Lake, turned south, and then headed around the corner to Alouette Lake. If you look on the map, you can see there's three lakes. On the left is Pit Lake. In the middle, the tiny little sliver is Alouette Lake. And then to the right is Stave Lake. We are about to land in Alouette Lake. Alouette Lake was really glassy. And this proposes a problem because you can't see the water coming at you. So you need to pick a point on the shoreline, that's your last known point, and that's your reference point when landing the airplane. The water really sneaks up on you, like it does to me here. Yeah, it does sneak up on you, doesn't it? I didn't see it coming at all. After a few takeoffs and landings in Alouette Lake, we flew over to Stave Lake. Stave Lake is a large reservoir located in the Fraser Valley region of British Columbia. The lake's formed by a dam on the Stave River, which is a tributary of the Fraser River. Stave Lake is an important source of hydroelectric power for the province, as well as a popular destination for outdoor recreation. The lake is surrounded by scenic mountains and forests and offers opportunities for fishing, boating, camping, hiking, and wildlife viewing. The lake is also home to several species of fish, including rainbow trout, kokanee, and sockeye salmon. In addition, the area around Stave Lake is also known for its rich cultural history, with evidence of First Nation settlements dating back thousands of years. Stave Lake is located about 60 kilometers east of Vancouver and can be assessed via the Stave Lake Dam Road. The lake and surrounding area are managed by BC Hydro, which operates several recreational sites and campgrounds in the area. After a few more circuits in Stave Lake, we flew right back out the way we came, down the Stave River, and back towards Pitt Meadows. We reached the Fraser River at Crescent Island, which is just to the west of Mission. We flew right over the Golden Ears Bridge, which was so cool. Then we landed on the water, just to the south of the Pit Meadows Airport. Once we were back on the water, we taxied over to the ramp, and then put the plane up on the beaching gear. Okay, so that was the first two hours. Bush flying. Went into uh, Pit Lake, Alley White Lake, Stave Lake. Got a phone call coming in here. Let's see who it is. You want to talk to him? Who is it? James. 
Hey James, how you doing? Uh, I'm sitting in the float plane on the water right now. We just got finished. Can I call you back in maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes? Okay, buddy. See ya. Ready? Great day. He was great, by the way. He was really good. Here we go. Ready? Underneath. There he is. In the water. You gonna pick us up. Oh, get the window open. Oh, I can't get the window open. Sorry. There we go. Float plane comes out of the water. Just like that. Put it back in the hangar. Okay, so what did I learn today? What did I learn? Back to where we were before James called. So, yeah, we did some takeoff, some glassy water stuff. We learned to flap pop today, that's for sure. So 20 to about 40 miles an hour, pop it to 30, gets us off the water. And then once we accelerate, I think he said to like about 60, we can go flaps down back down to 20, but that's just to get us off the rough water, which is real cool. But uh, we're gonna do a lot of flying over the next two weeks. Looking forward to it. See you in the next, I don't know, next, maybe next episode. I'm not sure how many there's gonna be here, but we'll see you soon. All right, later. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning.